Today we'll be talking about uh, how to stretch and shrink the sine and cosine curves horizontally. And the equations that we'll be using today are as follows. We'll either be dealing with the sine curve and we're going to be a changing a value of B or the cosine curve. So let's see what we're talking about. Here we have a normal uh, sine curve and uh, we're letting y equal be the sine of bx, but b is 1, so it's just y equals the sine of x. And what we're going to do is change the value of b. So in this little slider down here, if you watch me move the little uh, triangle on the slider, I'm going to change it to 2. So let's change the value of b to 2. And notice what happens to the graph. When b is changed to 2, let's look at it very carefully. Whereas before, let's go back to 1 and look at it. Before, one full cycle was in, in 2 pi radians of 360 degrees. Now let's look at it um, when b is equal to 2. And let's take a little picture of this so we, we can look at it. And notice that the period here is 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees, and because one full cycle uh, is in 360 degrees, it makes one full cycle 360, and therefore the period is equal to 360 or, or 2 pi radians. Okay, or 360 degrees. Remember the period is the time it takes for the, um, for the graph to make one full cycle. So now let's go back and see what happens when b is equal to 2. Let's go look at it again. b is now 2. Notice in this case what happens to the graph. And let's capture it and um, take a quick look at it. So we see here that in this case, we have the graph of y equals the sine of 2x, because b was equal to 2. And notice that we have one full cycle in 180 degrees, or pi radians, and another full cycle to get us to 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. So there are two cycles in 360 degrees two cycles, which means the period in this case is the time it takes to complete one cycle, and you'll notice that's actually pi radians. So two cycles on 360 are two pi radians, or the period is equal to pi radians, or 180 degrees. Once again, we see that the blue is one period because it's one full cycle. Let's see what happens when we change b to 3. So here's our graph when b is equal to 2. Let's move it to 3. Notice what happened. I moved it to 3. And now let's look at the number of cycles that we have. So this is the graph of y equals sine of 3x. And let's see how many cycles we have in 2 pi radians of 360 degrees. Here's one full cycle. There's a second full cycle. And then finally, we have a third full cycle. So you notice that there are three cycles in 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. So if we think about the period, the period in this case would be where with how long it takes one full cycle. The question is, how can we figure that out? Well, if you think about it, if there's three cycles in two pi radians of 360 degrees, one full cycle, we simply divide by three. So to get the period, we would simply take two pi radians and divide it by b. In this case, it's two pi divided by three, 
since b is equal to 3. Well, notice we should write that down here, that in this case, b is equal to 3. So uh, that would be the answer. Or if we want to do it in degrees, it would be 360 degrees divided by 3, which is 120 degrees. And it looks like that blue, let's, let's go over it again. The blue is 120 degrees, and there's one full cycle. So um, we could summarize this by saying that the period is always equal to 2 pi radians divided by B. Or we could say it's 360 degrees divided by B, because if there's uh, B cycles in 360 degrees, one cycle you just simply divide by B. In our case here, B was 3. So if there are three cycles in 360, naturally there would be one cycle in 360 divided by 3. Now what happens if we were to make B between 0 and 1? So here we have Y equals a sine of X. Um, actually, we, uh, B is 1.02 at the moment, just a little mistake. Let's change B to be equal to 0 0.5. And notice as we are decreasing the value of B and it to be a zero b number between 0 and 1, look what's happening to the graph. It's stretching in the Y direction. Now let's try to see if we could end up at 0 0.5. Where point, there we go, 0 0.5. And let's look at what uh, the period is now in this case. So notice here that in 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, we only have half a cycle. One full cycle is actually over the cross of 4 pi radians, or 720 degrees. So in our graph here of y equals a sine of 0.5x, we know that b is equal to 0.5, and we know that, that there is a half a cycle, 0.5 cycles, in 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. Notice once again how that number 0 0.5 is the same as the value of b. If we want to find the period, we know that it's 7 to 20 degrees, and what we learned before was that the period is equal to 2 pi divided by 0 0.5, 2 pi over b, which comes out to be 4 pi radians. Or we could do it as 360 degrees divided by 0 0.5, and that's 720 degrees. And we certainly notice that this graph um, has one full cycle in 7 to 20 degrees. So when the numbers are between 0 and 1, the graph stretches. So let's summarize. Whether we have y equals uh, the sine of bx or y equals the cosine of bx, we know that b is equal to the number of cycles in 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. And we know that the period is equal to 2 pi over b or 360 degrees over b. The other thing that we should be aware of is that b is also equal to 2 pi over the period. So this is really important that we know these things, these three things. And if we do that, we can solve some problems. So here's a problem, and we want to find out if it's, uh, what the, uh, the uh, equation of the graph is. Um, we've been dealing with sine functions so far, and we'll deal with that again here. We certainly should know it's a sine function because the graph starts at the origin on the x-axis. And uh, what we want to know is what is the graph. We know it's going to be in the form of y equals, now that we know what's sine, the sine of bx. And b tells us the number of cycles in 360 degrees or pi radians. So let's see what we have here. We have... 
one cycle, two cycles, three cycles, and finally, four cycles. So that tells us that there are four cycles in 200, uh, 360 degrees, or two pi radians. So the B must be equal to four. So our graph, our equation is going to be Y equals the sine of four X. Now, if somebody asks you what is the period, um, you certainly, it might be a little difficult to tell from this graph because one full period would be, for instance, this blue line up here where I've outlined it. Actually, this one's easy to tell because you can see it's a pi over 2. But if it wasn't, if it wasn't marked, you could figure that out by simply remembering that the period is equal to 2 pi over b. And since b is 4, the answer is 2 pi over 4, which does reduce the pi over 2 radians, or 90 degrees. And so that would be the period. Okay? And uh, so that you should know how to do that. So um, now it's your turn. So what we need you to do is find the equation of this graph and find its period. Good luck and see you again next time.